everybody, Chef Shade Tree coming at ya with a new food video. Um, now this is a what I'm gonna do is a my take on pulled pork. Okay. Now this is for people that can't that don't have a smoker or grill to cook a pork on to get your pulled pork. This is an in-house winter recipe, what you might say, where you can cook it inside in a crock pot. And this is how I do it. I got me this pork roast. I put it in the crock pot. It cooked for, I like cooking them from anywhere from ten, eight, to, 8 to 10 hours. This one's been in for eight and a half. I shut it off. I turn it off so it can cool down. And then I'm going to, I'll show you what I do. I'm going to put it in this plate right here so I can split it up. And I'll get it out and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, now that I got it out on this plate here, I'm going to show you what I mean about this stuff coming apart. This is the fat cap. And look at it. Look, at, Watch it fall apart. It just falls right apart. Look at this. Falls right apart. Now I have a skillet here. I'm going to put the good meat in the skillet here. I want to show you something else. Look at this. You want to see something neat? There's the bone. Pulls right out. No meat on the bone. Pulls right out of it. There's one piece of bone. Get another piece of bone here. The bone just pulls right out of this thing like it's nothing. Look at this. Now what I really like doing while it's, it's nice. There's the other piece. Yeah. See? Bone slides right out of it. Now what I really like doing is look, look at the juice out of this thing. Look at this. Look how good that is. I love eating this. Mmm, 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 good stuff. Might get it all pulled apart here. See, it just comes right apart. Look at that. Look at that stuff. Now I'm going to pull more of this apart here. I'm going to get it all in the skillet here. I'll get it all. See, I just, just crush it right off into the skillet. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Get this all pulled apart here. I like taking the fat out of it. There's these... There's some fat in it. I like taking it out. So I'll get this separated here real quick and get back with you. Okay guys, now that I got all the meat divided, got the good meat in the skillet here now. And that's what I got left with the bone and the fat that I don't like putting in the in my stuff. So now I got to this point here. I got the skillet. I got it cooking here. Now this is where the magic starts to happen. Now what I like to do <clears throat> is I get you know you get that smoky flavor in the for smoking it. Well, just get you some liquid smoke. And I like dumping a little bit in there. This will give a nice, good, rich, smoky flavor. I put a little bit in it. I, I, I don't hesitate on that. And let it simmer. And I'll stir the stuff up a little bit here. Get this, the smoke mixed up in it. And I'll show you what I do after that. Now you can see why I do this in the skillet here for so I can brown the meat a little bit. You know, just give it a little bit of a brown. I do it dry for a little bit. Give it a little brown. Now 
Take a look at the brown. Now you got that smoke, smoke flavor in there. Give it a little brown, a little crisp. Now I'll show you what I do after that. Okay, now after I've stirred it up a little bit, browned it a little bit, got some of that smoke, liquid smoke ran through it. I like taking some of the flute, the broth of the pot and pouring it in on here. If that'll be enough or not. I'll do some more mixing here real quick and see where I'm at with it. Okay, I got to this point. I had to take some of the meat out. I put that in a extra container here real quick. Because this skillet is going to get full. So I take some of the meat out. So when I start putting my ingredients in, my, my spices and all that whatnot I put in it, I'll need a lot of room in this skillet. So... I got it to this point, and now is when I start adding my spices and whatnot in it. And I'll show you what I do with the ingredients in it. Now this is when I get really creative, and I start emptying out the refrigerator. You know, when you have them uh, half-empty bottles of ketchup and mustard and, you know, old barbecue sauce and whatnot. I just throw it all together into this uh, mixture, and that's how I do my mixture. And then, I'll mix it up, and I'll start adding more spices to it, just dry spices. This is the liquid spice. I rinse the, the bottles out with water, so that's what the extra water is in there. It'll burn off, it'll, it'll evaporate once I start getting turning here. But I'll mix it up, and then I'll put some dry spices in it, and I'll get back with you when I do that. Okay, there you go. I've added my ground, my uh, dry spices in it. I've got uh, onion powder, garlic powder, oregano, um, turmeric, smoked paprika, regular paprika, and ground mustard in this. So I'll just stir this up and get back. Okay, I've got it all stirred up. And that uh, brown fluid you see in there, that's maple syrup. I'll put some maple syrup in it to give a little sweetness to it. It's got a little, little heat to it because I put some uh, white pepper in it and smoked paprika and a little cayenne pepper. And then I put a little sweetness to it and throw some maple syrup in it. And you can see that most of the fluid has burned off. And I'll mix this uh, maple syrup in it here real quick and I'll show you what I got. Okay guys, it's all done. Now all there is to do is to grab me a bun. Put me a blob of this stuff on my bun. Get it here and give her a taste test. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the juice in there. Look, just look at that. You want to talk about some killer pulled pork. Barbecued pulled pork. The best there is. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that goodness. Now I've got to do is taste test. Mmm. 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 I'll tell you what. I outdo myself every time. So if you like my, um, video, my, uh, barbecue pulled pork, like and subscribe. Give me some comments what you think. And... I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.